Christmas, his mask. Enter Christmas with two or three of the guard. He is attired in round hose, long stockings, a close doublet, a high crowned hat with a brooch, a long thin beard, a truncheon, little ruffs, white shoes, his scarfs and garters tied cross, and his drum beaten before him. Enter also his sons and daughters, being ten in number, led in on a string by Cupid, who is attired in a flat cap and apprentice's coat with wings at his shoulders. The names of his children with their attires. Miss Rule, in a velvet cap with a sprig, a short cloak, a great yellow ruff like a reveller, his torch-bearer bearing a rope, a cheese and a basket. Carol, a long tawny coat with a red cap and a flute at his girdle, his torch-bearer carrying a songbook open. Minced pie, like a fine cook's wife, dressed neat, her man carrying a pie, dish and spoons. Gamble, like a tumbler, with a hoop and bells, his torch-bearer armed with a cold staff and a blinding cloth. Post and pair, with a pair royal of aces in his hat, his garment all done over with pears and purrs, his squire carrying a box, cards and counters. New Year's gift, in a blue coat, serving man-like, with an orange and a sprig of rosemary gilt. On his head, his hat full of brooches, with a collar of gingerbread, his torch-bearer carrying a march pane with a bottle of wine on either arm. Mumming, in a masking pied suit with a visor, his torch-bearer carrying the box and ringing it. Wassail, like a neat sempster and songster, her page bearing a brown bowl dressed with ribbons and rosemary before her. Offering, in a short gown with a porter's staff in his hand, a withy borne before him and a basin by his torch-bearer. And finally, baby cock, dressed like a boy in a fine long coat, biggin, bib, muckinder and a little dagger, his usher bearing a great cake with a bean and a peas. They enter singing.